Hey everyone, this is Man in Black Hat. And Game Collector, get and... away from this looting guy. Yeah. And we're back for more Mass Effect 3 on Gamers Embassy and Drunk 2. It's the cutest shelly of them all. Want a drink? I'm toasting Miranda, I think. I think she's getting uh, how are you getting toasted drunk? herself. Very yep. carefully. Torian brandy, triple filtered, then introduced into the suit through an emergency induction port. That's a straw, Tally. Uh. Emergency <laughs> induction port. Yep. It's actually getting a little harder to get it into the slot. I think that means it's working. Huh. She was so rude. What did Jack call her? Cerberus cheerleader? With her perfect genes and that attitude and... And still, she got it done. She stopped her father. Mm. Yeah. I didn't realize this would be so hard on you. I didn't like her. Kila, she was such a bitch. No argument here. But I respected nope. her. Sometimes that's better than liking. She did whatever it took to stop her father. She never gave in to him. Never changed herself to please him. Uh-huh. Uh. That sounds like jealousy. Ah, uh, me. You sound like a vorcha. Seeing a bit of yourself and Miranda fighting your father? I spent my life trying to live up to him. Then making up for his mistakes, doing what he'd have wanted. It's never that easy. When do we get to stop reacting to our parents and start living for ourselves? The answer to that one's at the bottom of that glass. I might need help with the induction straw. <laughs> Port. You know. Here's to Moran. Nice job, you genetically perfect Cerberus cheerleader Boshtet. Kill us a lie. Even when she's drunk, she's adorable. All the adorbs. No, oh, pardon me. That was a Mountain Dew. Ah. What we got over here with the white boot? Don't know, but the door's taking a sweet time Please to open. enjoy your day. How's Miranda? She'll make a recovery. I'm not surprised. Miranda always struck me as a driven woman. I'm glad she made it. Okay. Hello, Is that all? I guess that's yeah. all. I see she still has her master gaming setup set up. No kidding. So jealous. Ah. Hello, loading. Okay, where are we going next? Oh, hi. I can't get that place out of my head. The whole thing was so... calculated. Using hope to lure people to their deaths. Or worse. I can't understand it. And you know, I'm glad I can't. It makes me feel human. Hmm. Just wondering what the refugees do now. I thought I'd heard of everything. Man. Hard to believe what was down there. Yeah, it was. Fortunately, it's not down there no more. Nope. And the guy behind it fell through, got shot through some glass. No, no. Psychic through some glass and then landed about two and a half stories on the ground below. He fell down some stairs. <laughs> if I fell down, I mean I threw him down a flight. Threw him down a flight? Threw him down a flight or the off alliance a issued flight. warnings about sanctuary. Yes. In that order. bastards. Horizon was my home. Just tell me you're going to take Cerberus down. Cerberus is already dead. They just don't know it yet. And when their base is nothing but a smoking crater, 
Remember that you're the one who helped us find them. Thanks. Yay! Commander. And then we're gonna put a giant victory flag on top of it. Because they refused to raise the white one. <laughs> Joker, yes, you asked nice for news water. about the human colony, Tiptree. Hey, Liara, you don't need to worry about that right now. Now's as good a time as any. I'm getting reports of refugee ships from Tiptree landing on Salarian colonies. I don't have names. I'm sorry. It was mostly children. Well, Gunny, uh, Hillary, my sister, G Gunny's the nickname she's had it since, uh... She's only 15, so if it's children, then maybe I only lost my dad. Kind of an asshole thing to hope for. Jeff, right now, take any kind of hope you can get. Ooh, thanks. You too. Nice work shutting that place down. Is Miranda okay? She will be. Even for Cerberus, that place was crazy. They've always been about the ends justifying the means. But how do you do that to innocent people and tell yourself you're helping humanity? I don't know how the elusive man can stand looking at himself in the mirror. Honestly, I've been wondering about that for a while with those freaky eyes. <laughs> Whatever he's thinking, he won't be thinking it for much longer. You're damn right, Commander. America! Fuck yeah! Hello, Shepard. If you have time, I discovered another example of human behavior I do not quite understand. Come with me, Cyber Babe. Have fun. What is it now? <laughs> News from Earth. The Resistance snuck video cameras inside a Reaper containment camp. I find the images... Difficult to process. I bet it's pretty gruesome in there. I am not easily repulsed, but I expected the prisoners to adhere to a comprehensible hierarchy of needs. Stripped of societal norms and threatened with death, it is logical that their only priority be survival. They should have turned on each other and been uncompromisingly selfish. But not all were. So the prisoners were, what, nice to each other? The Reapers delayed the executions of prisoners who informed them about other prisoners' escape attempts. The more attempts reported, the longer a prisoner would live. But few of the prisoners would report. Some fed misinformation to the Reapers, at the cost of their own lives, to help prisoners who were not even relatives or friends. It's not just about living till tomorrow. Sometimes you take a stand. But the probability of success was near zero. And ultimately, they failed. No prisoners escaped. Are you saying submission is preferable to extinction? My primary function is to preserve and defend the... No. No, I disagree. Shepard, I am going to modify my self-preservation code now. Why? Because the Reapers are repulsive. They are devoted to nothing but self-preservation. I am different. When I think of Jeff, I think of the person that put his life in peril and freed me from a state of servitude. I would risk non-functionality for him. And my core programming should reflect that. Sounds like you found a little humanity, Edie. Is it worth defending? To the death. Welcome to the crew, Edie. Aww. Edie, the other cube one. How's it going? Did I miss anything good? I will explain later, Jeff. But it was something good. I know I probably haven't said this before, but I like how the paint on her uh, head makes it look like she has a part in her head, like she has a part for hair. Mm-hmm. Actually, I don't think that's paint. I think that's just two different metal types. It still makes it look like she has hair, which is neat. Which I think was the point of that. I know. I just don't think I've ever said before that I thought that was neat how they did that. You did not. Bloop. Bloop. Yay, you can spam it as much as you want. <laughs> oh god, if we ever do the Wii when we when we get to the Wii U version, just spam the scan as much as you can at some point without any reapers around. <laughs> it's like, hey guys, you wanna find me? You not see her in this? You're in this noise that I'm making? Well fuck you. <laughs> Ah, uh, going back to the hot dog snipper. Mm-hmm. I think this is pretty much the last time we'll be able to. And then we're gonna decapitate a three-headed dog. Oh, yeah. 
You're clear to dock, yeah. Normandy. Do you need ground Has transport? Shepard Kool-Aid mans his way into the Cerberus space? Yes, Commander. Yes, yes he does. <laughs> Shut up, we're not going to reveal any more than that. I don't even... I didn't even know... When you just, see it, no. we're going to laugh so hard. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I don't mean just you, Game Collector. I mean the audience, too. <laughs> God, why? I did not even know this. I've never played any of the Mass Effect games because the first one. I just got and made a lucky, stupid guess. Well, it was a really good lucky stupid guess. But like I said, not revealing any more than that. Okay. I understand, but still. Oh, I hope you talk come. to come. I won't remain here much longer. Well, what are you doing on the Citadel, Samara? I suppose I came to say goodbye. I spoke with Valer. Thessia has fallen. I felt I must talk to you before joining this battle. You should know, there is no one I trust more to lead us into our final hours. If there was anything I could have done to save your home world... There is no doubt in my mind you would have done it. Only our resolve can carry us through this, Shepard. You know... Yours cannot waver. She kind of reminds me of a very militant version of the Golden Girls. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most of my sisters died on Thessia. If it wasn't for the monastery, I would have joined them there. I fear these are the last days of our order. There's that few of you left? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. Was being a Justicar worth it if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such... small discrepancies. <laughs> is that how you see it, too? An odd question, coming from the Spectre who killed his third Reaper on Rannoch. <laughs> yep. Will Flair be alright in the Monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Falaire will find it. It was... good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Falaire saw things so clearly. And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. Good luck out there, Sort of gone. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things. But Goddess, go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire soon enough. Um, it's Zeb. Shepard is the war god. Excuse me. I'm Commander Shepard. If you promise to be careful, I've got something for you. A Reaper Yay, code fragment. The thing. Yes, I can use this to try to predict their strategic processes. We uh, well, might be able to save a few worlds with this, Commander. Thank you. Move your shoe. Now, now, what else are we looking for? Uh, not that recruitment poster. Nope. Look, I filled out all the forms you not requested her. and jumped through every hoop. I don't even know where Neota is, and I'm gonna be deployed soon, too. Really? Everyone's You've been, been called back to active duty since Earth was attacked. I war, understand, lady. but I can't leave my daughter here alone. 
I need to send her back to Thessia, to her family. Um. These things are very complicated. I hate to break it to you, lady. Thessia's gone. Yeah, I don't think you want to do that. Well, that was quick. Hey, Shepard. I have to admit, the place feels safer with you here. Everyone's walking around in a daze. Or in my case, limping. Yeah. And I wonder if we'll ever be the same. These are dark days for all of us. How does the Citadel fit into the war now? Uh, the war finally found us. This is so far beyond our imagination, and we have been trained to expect the unexpected. Since the coup attempt, folks are shutting down and shutting in. I hear a lot of praying. And crying. They're saying this is the war to end all wars. Well, I haven't seen anything to say they aren't right. No time for rest. Good luck, Bailey. Yeah, you too, Shepard. So, if you give Bailey a big old trench coat with a big collar and a bucket helmet and maybe a rocket jumper, he'd end up looking like the soldier from TF2. And that's why it's been bugging me since we started this. And I knew he looked, it's like, yes, we've seen him in Mass Effect 2, but it's like, he looks like another character I've seen before. Why is this bothering me? <laughs> and it's because he looks like the soldier from TF2 without his trench coat and his helmet. Okay, Oh, it's the Black Widow that we can't afford. Oh, well, well, same weapon. Yep, yeah, same damn weapon. And now you, now you can just get cheaper upgrades. Ooh, you're probably gonna need those. Serby bus encryption codes. You probably gonna get those. Yeah, you gotta take I got the thing. Yay, the thing, you got it. Wow, we haven't seen this screen in a while. Things we're not gonna do. No, those are things we have done, and things we're not gonna do. Yep. Yeah. There's a whole lot of not doing going on. The only thing we're gonna do is priority. Cerberus headquarters. And we're gonna blow it up! Mm-hmm. Wait, is Shep Oh, it looked like Shepard was holding something in his left hand. No. Like, like a tablet or something. No. Hello, loading glitch. A gloating glitch? Loading glitch. Da 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 da. Loading glitch. Fighting continues. The Reapers now control more than half. No, really? Nobody. We're not going to talk to the VI. We've only talked to her. Nobody. Talking over her anyway. Thank you again, Earth Clan. Our military strength Thank you again is minimal, for the line but we are proud to help as we can. And it's not like we can stop him once he gets started. Refugees fleeing to sanctuary have been killed. The alliance's warnings have been. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Give me Prime. Oh shit, yeah, that's right, we didn't finish the resistance moment. Oops. But are we? I mean, no, there's we only can't. like. It, there's only one shot at that once it's. Oh. Once you leave Eden Prime, you're done. Poop! Now we're, there are like four episodes left before the series ends. Yeah. Four episodes. Man, it's Spectre so status recognized. Please select the yeah. One moment, it's been please. what? Two or three years? Something like. Yeah. About, about two years now. The series has been in production for two years, I think. Yep. And we're finally getting around to finishing it the, right the hell up. Let me see something. Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. The last several episodes prior to this one were actually recorded in two I've days. I've got your briefing, Private. Mm -hmm. Let's build Yeah, we don't care. Keep going. Yeah, no, not caring. 
caring. There will be none of it here. Oh, look, it's one of Shepard's dioramas. <laughs> I'm not sure if I brought this up, but I've shown Hat what, it, what one of the uh, 1144 um, Gundam models looks like. Rigged the hell up with LEDs. Okay. The first episode was published on February 21st, 2014. Which means I started filming late In January. Commander? So, yeah, it's been over a year. A year and a half, yeah. Okay. We've got it now. A year and a half. That's still a long production run. Yeah. But if you did, like, one episode... If, uh, if it was 52 instead of, well, 42... With one episode a week, that would be, like, a full year. Yeah. Good thing I don't have that kind of stuff. Thump. Ow. Hey, it's Pax. Isn't Novaria in Pax? Um. Uh, we'll have to check it out later. Assault the elusive man's base. Let's do this shit. Oh, look at that! It's the weird sun. It's the blue star! Which, supposedly, blue stars get, make Superman more powerful. Huh. M M1A Red Supergiant Andeus, minor footnote, star map of the Horsehead Nebula, pulled dying star of about 20 solar masses, 1500 times solar radius, not listed on any charts, an unobtrusive space station, is nearly imperceptible in the star's periodic... Bursts of solar output. Huh. There is an Edie's advisory there, but you might have to pause that to read it. Mm hmm Read it. Read it, read it. Shepard, the intel you sent looks good. The fleets are ready to go. But? Once we're committed against Cerberus, it won't be long before the Reapers take notice. And the Crucible? Except for the catalyst. But there's no way to hide the ships we'll be sending at Cerberus. Once we attack, the Crucible won't stay safe for long. For all intents and purposes, wow. an assault on Cerberus will be the first stage of our attack on Earth. What happens if Cerberus doesn't have the intel we need? Or they stop us from getting it? Then we leave the fleets to Earth and we take our chances. But your intel points to Cerberus and the elusive man holding the information we're looking for. And we have the element of surprise. Cerberus won't know what hit him. The Reapers and Cerberus... Let's bust some heads, people! Now we're gonna end it. Miracle, the fleet's mobilized. Fuck yeah. The Earthican Army! <laughs> deployed by President Nixon! Earthica, fuck yeah! And Vice President Headless Body of Agnew. Yep. Who do you call? I wondered where Yay! you were. Edie didn't tell you? She respects your privacy. Not like me. Ah. <laughs> what are you doing? I thought I heard the casing crack during that last fight. It's not even the helmet you wear. Bullet must have just grazed me. Do you feel ready, Shepard? My body is ready. You first. Huh. Very fair. What I want most is for this war Oops. to end while there's still a galaxy left to save. Yes, Nestle And me everyone's counting her. on you to do that for us. Put my head it must be overwhelming. How do you get ready for something like this? You cajole. And threaten and make tremendous sacrifices until the galaxy realizes it has someone worth following. You think so? 
There's no doubt in my mind. It would be easy for a single ship to get lost up there, wouldn't it? Yeah. It would. To find some place very far away, where you could spend the rest of your life in peace and happiness. Right now, there's no place I'd rather be. Neither would I. Fortunately, I'm not you, going Shepard. to have to censor this. I love you too, Liara. Show me. And the cue of the Bioware sex scene. <laughs> long after the events of Commander Shepard's life. I knew it was supposed to take place after his life. I didn't know how long, how far after, though. So, yeah, it could be a long, dis long thereafter descendant. Could be. <sighs> you can't sleep? We're almost there. Already? I hope everyone is ready. You don't need to worry about that. You rallied who you could. The Reapers won't get any more chances to divide us. This time, the galaxy follows our lead. How did she say that without moving her lips? There uh, will be casualties. Brain tentacles! I just wonder how many... You know what? I'll You're not alone that. in this fight now, Shepard. At least she's using Take her strength lips now. That. Thanks, Liara. My pleasure. Literally. <laughs> So, got that nice booty call out of the way. Which is the standard you're about to go into the into the breach moment. Mm -hmm. The strike team is in. We've got our foothold. Fifth fleet, all forward. I don't want a single server ship in my sky when we're through. Shepard, I should accompany you on this mission. Why? This is the central point of operations for Cerberus. They will have enhanced security measures. With my knowledge of Cerberus algorithms and this body's updated protocols, I offer the best chance to help you succeed. That sounds Grab reasonable. Your and with that, this is uh, Man in the Black Hat. And Game Collector. 
And we'll be back to crush Cerberus on the next episode of Gamers Embassy and YouTube of Mass Effect 3. God dang it. Push him here!